Hi guys, Dieke here with a new page for the Art by Marlene promo team 2020. In the picture you see two journal pages, a pink one, a green one. The green one is the page I'll make for you today. So let's get started. I've got a page uh, from the big art journal from the previous series of Art by Marlene. I have used white gesso on top. When it was dry I started uh, making some scraps of uh, old book papers. Just a few scraps to apply randomly all over the the page and this is a uh, collage paper I also tear some pieces out of the collage, collage paper to use on this page then I take mud medium I apply it to the page first, then glue the piece of book paper on top and then put another layer of mud medium on top of the book paper. When it's all glued to the page I have to uh, leave it to dry. I was not that patient, so I used my heat tool to do this. Then I cut the, the pieces that are hanging over the edge of my uh, journal page. So now it's time to get out my paints. I use greens and blues and some white. I start with the green first. Take a brush and apply it loosely to the page. You see me make horizontal and vertical stripes. A little bit more of the green. And I also use the white paint. And I don't mix it up all too well because I like the kind of uh, mixture you get when you see a little bit of green and a little bit of white. I repeat the process with the blues, a lighter and a darker blue, and take the time to heat it. When that's all done, I take a stamp from a previous series. It looks a bit like a coronavirus, but it's a flower stamp. I take a brayer to uh, apply the paint and then put the stamp in the paint. and stamp it onto the page. Be careful, you have to clean your stamp right away when you're finished stamping. Be 
then dry again you can still see the book papers and the collage papers through the paint I like the effect this gives you get a little bit more layers into your background then I take some white paint and a few bottle caps to stamp with just old junk stuff Make sure it's dry again. I had some white paint left. Put a little bit of water with the paint, and then I couldn't find my um, my chopstick, so I took an old toothbrush to make some splatters. but I didn't really like the final result it gives a real fine splatter with a toothbrush mostly I like it but this time it wasn't too visible so I took a, um, a paintbrush and made some splatters with the paintbrush I've really watered down the paint so it makes it easier to uh, tap the paint off my paintbrush make sure your page is really dry for the next step I clean up the white paint and I take some black paint I use a palette knife I put it into the black paint and just scrape it all over the page for a kind of grungy effect you can also do the borders of your page, the edges I like the effect the black paint gives to the colored background so I'll put it aside and leave it to dry and then you see at the pink page I have used the mystical city stamp I've stamped it onto different scraps of uh, background paper I made it earlier and cut it out so that's what I'll do with the mandala stamp I've stamped it on different scraps of colored paper jelly prints and stuff Uh, 
and I cut out the different pieces of these uh, colored papers the middle piece will be a light green one The other pieces I've cut out of the orange and the pink piece of paper. And the little pieces in between I have made out of the blue piece of paper. you see me building up the flower mandala and then it's finished my page is completely dry now and I'll put the flower onto my page I've used some real glue for the mid piece of the flower but the leaves I've glued with a glue stick so you can still move it around a little when you're not completely happy with how the leaves are um, attached to the page for the middle piece it was just okay so that's stuck to the paper and the leaves I've glued with a glue stick so you can just move it around a little if you want to So that's that. And then I take the collage paper again and make a little border out of this paper. That's what I've also done on the pink page. I've just cut out some nice form and glued it to my page. I guess this is dry now I take my Stabilo All Pencil and make a shade around the flower I've watered it down with a water brush but you can also use your fingers when you've made it a little wet and make a shadow around your flower so it pops more out of the page and 
then I take a white gel pen with this gel pen I've made some borders around the border I've cut out of the collage paper and I've made some highlights on my flower just a few dots and then I take the sticker book I found a nice text and glued it a little bit over the flower and a little bit under the flower so it's still uh, a visible image and then I've noticed something was missing I took the white paint out again and a bottle cap to make some white dots I've dried them and as soon as they were finished drying I took my black gel pen and ma made some lines around the white circles Then I've taken my black ink and I've made my edges a little more pop. So here you see the two finished pages. They'll go back in my big journal. I hope I have been able to inspire you and I hope you keep up your stamping, journaling, but most of all have fun in this crazy period we're in right now. <laughs>